good morning day two of our virgin voyages cruise we're gonna go tour the ship like we're gonna start as low as we can and go all the way up to the very very top which is the track and show y'all some of that and then i'm going to sit with sandals on and yes. get some sunshine i'm gonna read my book and chill so we didn't introduce ourselves i'm alex and i'm chris and this is the unwinding vlog on the virgin voyages scarlet lady <laughs> Okay, so we're on deck five now. Deck four was like medical services and I think where you get on and off the ship when you go to port. Um, so we are on five now. Chris literally disappeared. I don't know where he went. No, oh, there he is. <laughs> so once you get to deck five, Razzle Dazzle is on this side, which is one of the restaurants. Kind of a cute little hallway. And then that way, there's guest services, which I think is what the big line is for. People are probably having issues with their app and things like that. And then Pink Agave, where we had dinner last night, is that way. So it is a sea day, so all of the shops are currently open, which looks like they have a lot of high-end merchandise, which ain't for these people. Just gonna be clear here. Ain't for us. This area is actually very cool. I think this is where we walk. Is this where we came? No, it's not where we came onto the ship. That was one up, wasn't it? Where the jazz tree up was. Oh, fun. This is actually a really neat, neat area. It's beautiful. I love the portholes that are big circles. That bar doesn't look open right now, but it was last night. So I would assume it has just afternoon and evening hours. Oh, the uh, tattoo shop's over here. <laughs> we getting a tattoo? Me? Yeah. No, I'm not getting a tattoo. You're first? No. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not kidding. I, I really thought blog. about I it. I won't even be peer pressured by the vlog to do it. <laughs> I might be peer pressured very easily. Duty free? Booty free? Oh, booty free. You weren't joking. I thought you said that as a joke. No, it's booty free. Okay, cute. This is really neat. All right, here's some of the dead things I think that you can get. Lots of penis. <laughs> if you know, you know. Star Wars. The front at the beginning were kind of cute too. Which, I have a lighthouse tattoo. And mine's a lot more simple than that, but it's very cute. And there are people in here getting tatted. Literally, right now. I'm like really jealous of them, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that one's fun. The lighthouse inside of a turtle. He did tell me on the, on the train yesterday that he, I can do what I want. So, to be determined. Maybe I'll put a poll on Oh, well, these are cute. These are small ones. This is more what I would get. Something small. I've always wanted a little plain, honestly, like something small like that. There's a crest in the casino. The casino is so strange to me because we've only been on the Disney cruise, which there's no casinos. Uh, so the fact that no casinos on the Disney cruise. Yeah. <laughs> so the fact that we've actually never been in a casino at all. I don't think. I don't think I've ever been I in mean, one. My work had. Like, yeah, but that wasn't like. Casinos, not yeah, a not a real yeah. casino. This is a cool wall, though. Whee! Those are fun. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> no, I said Ben doesn't like it when I say. Well, this is fun. Holy smokes! <laughs> wow. Okay, so we've seen most of deck six. We haven't shown y'all deck or part of the like where Tess kitchen and extra virgin arm, but that's where we were at dinner. It's on that in the aft, right? Yep. We're in the forward or the four. So we're in the other opposite end. So we're not going to walk over there just because we're close to the stairs here. So we're just going to go up to seven, which is some more food and a couple other things. Oh, we haven't seen this yet. So this is actually really cute. On all their uh, doors, they're like little mermen. More, wim more women, mermaids. I think, so we're on deck seven now. Oh, he got in. I think this is the balcony of the red room. Which we're assuming is, is that the balcony? Yeah. Yeah. I'm unsure, but I think this might oh, I'm be. I'm 100% sure. That's a karaoke bar. <laughs> but I think it's like private karaoke, like for your group. 
So that's fun. Okay, so what was this called? The groupie? The groupie. So yeah, this is definitely private room for karaoke. There's a two to four room, a four to six, and an eight to ten. So depending on how big your party is, it seems like you can probably not rent, but reserve them and do karaoke alone. So you're not doing yep. it in a group, of, you know, in front of everybody. So it's kind of fun. Kind of. If you're into karaoke. If you're in a big group of people, it would be fun. We've got all the champs here. Pastries. I don't know what this is called. Um, is this a social club? Maybe. Your guess is as good as mine at this point. Okay, this is private. Okay, but we can go around it. Good. It's very pretty. Okay, we figured out what it's called. That was the sip lounge, we believe. Yeah, not the social club. Yes. So this way. Social club and arcade are all one. Okay, so that's where we're last. That's where. That's the, where we saw last night, I think. Where all yeah, that extra food was. Yes. Yes. The, yeah. Okay, so we're heading there next. I, we also need to figure out where the pizza place is, because I've heard the pizza is. Devoon. Oh my god, there's ducks. A little ducks. Look at it. People are hiding ducks. Am I gonna take it? Yes. Yes, I am. I uh, love just all the vibes, on, like the decoration, the color schemes. This is very cool. Find you some records. So can you play these? No, but you or can you buy, buy them. them. Oh, that's fun. Anyway, I keep getting distracted, but the ship is beautiful is what I'm keeping, I keep meaning to say. Okay, so this looks like a little, oh, this is like beer. The drought house. The ship is also like, it's a sea day, and I just feel like it's not busy, and I'm like really here for it. It makes me really happy. <laughs> I love this area over here. They're very, very cute. Them gals out there eating their ice cream, yes. We must be near the ice cream. I think we are. Should we get ice cream? That'd be my lunch. Okay, here's the ice cream place. A little, little uh, naughty. Okay, there were a bunch of people by the ice cream place. So I didn't want to bother them, but there's cups, cones, three different kinds of cones, and now we're heading over. Right behind that is the pizza place. See, the vi I just love all the theming and like it's very cute. All right, so let's go check out the pizza. Okay, so they've got salads, pre-made, some alcohol and drinks. So oh, these are fun. I haven't seen all this. Oh, there's actually a version here. because I worked at the Titanic <laughs> channel for several years. Yeah, true. And, uh, you know, you just got to make sure that they're here. I don't want to talk about Titanic while I'm on a boat. <laughs> but it's beautiful. It's very warm today. The sun is out. Okay, hopefully y'all can see this area. I know it's, it's kind of bright, so I, don't, I can't really see what I'm showing you. But this is called the Dock House, which we think is the aft but could also be the forward. No, I don't know, we're getting confused. It's, it's fine, it's the four? Yeah. Okay, whatever, we're something. But this is the vibe back here. Lots of good places to sit. It looks like this at some point is open for some form of food. There we go. Looking pretty good, some shrimp, some hanger steak, all included in your cruise fare. And then there's obviously all kinds of drinks got some cocktails as well as beer wine non-alcoholic things all of the good oh my god y'all there's an orange blossom and blackberry sangria you speak in my language You're right. ah. look at these big old waves 
Good gosh. I know, so some of them are huge. So especially if you look up towards the front holy and the waves Moses. That our boat is making. Like our boat is like making those waves up there. It's kind of Yeah. Loud. Goodness. have some popcorn and soft pretzels and I believe they have chicken wings and like Philly cheesesteaks. There's a couple vegan options as well. What'd you find? View base playing. I got my American hat on to support uh, Weston McKinney there in the middle. Nice. So there's a bunch of games in here that you can play. Another bar in here with would my guess oh it's called the loose cannon. So excited! Pizza time, pizza time. Okay, we finished eating. Now we are gonna make our way back up. So eight to 14 are just the cabins and suites. So we're not gonna really show you all those cause it's just all the same. But then we'll make it up to the last three, which is 15, 16 and 17, which is more outdoor stuff and um, some of the athletic stuff. so nice depending on the time of day so there's like a veggie wrap sandwiches salads an area to just like chill a ton of ellipticals and treadmills a ton of them so nice 
that's your view while running. Can't be mad at that. Wait for it. Okay, I'm done. Here's a little baby cup. I'm like walking all the hallway. It's a little baby cup. So that's where yoga was this morning. Kind of free weights. I guess you probably just use them. Towels always look nice. Refill your water. Here. Super fun. This is one of the outdoor pool areas. There's a bar at the this um, level and one up. And there's speed up there too. We are on, I think this is 16. That is where, I guess if you're on like a rock star suite, I think that's what they call them. You're back there. Lots of good seating up here. I bet it's just really hot because of these tables and chairs. But this is another food place. I believe a lot of this is like really healthier options, which is really a nice, it's just really nice to have that, in my opinion. That food looks good. This is called the Sun Club Cafe. Okay, so they have bowls, bowls, and dips. But up there is the walking and run track and then the main like smokestacks up there. I think we are going to chill our happy little booties right here on these two empty chairs. I got my strapless swimsuit on and I'm ready for it. So we're gonna hang out here a little bit and then um, we'll catch up with y'all later, I'm sure. from the Beetlejuice hallway. Yes, we just walked up six flights of stairs six as well. Six flights so of stairs. The legs are burnt. Korean barbecue for dinner? Yes, did you like it? Uh, yeah, it was great. I tried octopus for the first time. It was just, sorry, oh, I'm, try, I'm, not, I'm not trying to get run out of your <laughs> <We are. laughs> uh, video there, but I am. Yes, you uh, are. It was good, it was like uh, chewy or chicken. Oh, well, we're almost to our room. With a hint of seafood. Okay, we're back in our room. So yeah, we had, um, the Korean barbecue place, which was called Gun Bay tonight. It was an experience. They uh, made us play a little drinking game at the beginning. And um, that was interesting. You're a smaller party, you're gonna sit with other people. So we sat with two other couples, one of which was very, very talkative. The other which looked like they had no desire to be there. <laughs> So that was an interesting kind of... That always makes table games super enjoyable. Yeah, so it was interesting. But overall food was good. It didn't make me feel like incredibly like full. Like overly full. Full, but not overly full. Like the I don't feel sick, which was octopus good. octopus put me over the top. But yeah, overall good night. Then we went and listened to some music that uh, you were vibing hard with, which was fun. It was fun. so good. Musicians yeah. on a, another level yeah it was so much fun they were playing <laughs> singable hits like there yeah, was some michael true. jackson there was some whitney houston there was all kinds of that fun stuff with a whole bunch of like yeah. gospel jazz roots stuff thrown in yes. there and i'm just here for all of that yeah and i was happy just i'm just chilling hanging out so um we're gonna go to bed and we'll see y'all in the morning good morning from mexico this is day Technically day three-ish, but day like two, I guess. It's the first city that we are stopped in after our sea day yesterday. We're kind of glad that the boat is gonna just be sitting here for a while, which is nice. We don't plan to get off here. We plan just to stay on the ship and explore and get some more work done. I have a podcast to edit. And um, currently I am sitting here in a virtual queue for a run Disney race. Chris is gonna go down and get some food. I took a cycling class this morning on board, which was a lot of fun. I didn't throw up, which I was proud of. <laughs> That's kind of the plan this morning. We're just gonna take a chill. A lot of time has passed. We have not done much today besides rest, relax, sit by the pool, Eat play some, some arcade games, all those good things. So it's Tuesday and I forgot I had booked us one of the, um, Shows, shows. Yeah. dual reality, I think is what it's called. And it started in 20 minutes. And I was like, oh, get ready quick. So, is this where we need to go? No, <laughs> keep going. So we're on the aft, it's in the forward, like six floors down. So we're trucking it. We got seven minutes till it starts. No clue where we're sitting, what we're supposed to do, but it's fine. We are back. We could not film. 
We did not realize that, but we could not film the show. What were your thoughts on the show? Those people are so strong. Yes. It's crazy. Um, so it was kind of like, it was an acrobatic show, uh, stunt show. They had like specialists, like there was a ton of crazy good dancing, but then they had like specialists that could do ju different kinds of juggling. There's some girl that did a hula hoop mm, that was crazy. Mm -hmm. um, there was a little bit of a storyline that went through it. It was a little weird. Um, it was, yeah, the theming was <laughs> part kind of, it, of I was strange. Like... But the actual entertainment was uh, was pretty crazy. Like some of the stunts yeah. that they did just like ranged from, you know, like um, like action movie fighting style choreography to some like really specialized aerial acrobatics, which was really cool. So uh, I thought it was awesome. It was a good show. You have not seen um, the show at Halloween Horror Nights, but it reminded me a lot of that in terms of like the style of. Um, stuff they did and the nice. like strength of the people and just like really good athletes basically so anyways it was great we're gonna get ready for scarlet night which basically just means you wear red any form of red that you want you don't have to but it's kind of like the play of the night is scarlet night and then we are hopefully going to be eating at the test kitchen tonight so we'll bring you all along for that too a scarlet night i we're feel like you really you really did it right and then i'm just kind of like I don't think it's bad though. I'm, I'm very. Um, it's not super red, but I'm it looks desaturated. Nice. That's so what it's I am. okay. It's all right. Mine's definitely very red, but there we are. We're ready for Scarlet Night. Per everything else, we have no idea really what to expect. We do know we're going to dinner first, at least hopefully. We've had some issues with our dining reservations, but we'll see. The Scarlet matches our red tint to our skin. We've got a little crisp, but we're gonna come back to. If you don't have a little crisp. Did on you, the second day, have you cruised? Did you even cruise? Did you even cruise? Did you even go on vacation? I, I cruised. I have the I have the red to my white yeah. to prove it. Into the scarlet night, everything's red. It doesn't come up red on the thing. It's orange. <laughs> <laughs> On the Virgin store, so we're gonna check out some of the merchy merchandise. Got... <laughs> it's funny. I will always find the stuffed animals. <laughs> Washable tattoo bear and a little ship. God, it's so cute. Animals. I know, you I don't love need them. any more stuffed animals. Tank tops, though. I don't like stuff like that. Glittery, look at that. Oh, okay. That's probably the shirt I'm gonna get. That's, That's very cute. cute. It's like a hallway of glitter. Oh, look, I'm there. We don't know if we should be back I'm not up there. Time. Yeah, I don't know. We're back here. There is a staircase that goes there. I don't know. We walked through a closed door to get here. So, <laughs> just kidding. We didn't. We didn't do that. <laughs> this was perfect though because this is the one thing that I was like, I really want to photo here and take some videos here. And I was like, there's gonna be just like Instagram's always like, you think it's gonna be what it looks like, and then there's like a line of people who you have to wait for, and we snuck nope. in. That was the, the door. Line. Closed door.
This is the aftermath of my burger and fries and a cookie. And uh, after we went and checked out the Scarlet Night stuff, which we show y'all up at the deck, I was like, I'm still hungry. So we came down to the galley, which is where there's a lot of stuff open till very, very late. I think the burger bar's open. There's like a breakfast all day that's open and then a couple other things. So both the burger and fries were good. Cookie was okay, but I still ate most of it. Thinking about maybe going to get some ice cream before we go back to the room and honestly like chill, watch some TV and read my book and go to sleep. <laughs> terrifying that that's of, just the ocean out the there. The number of times a day that I have pulled this door instead of pushing it. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Up the stairs. Down the stairs. Where are we at? Well, we want to go down to 12. Okay, so we survived Scarlet Night. There was um, like a, d a deck party. I don't really know. It was like... There was lasers and light bulbs. And a really massive... Light bulbs. Like light, light show <laughs> and lasers. And a massive blown up octopus. The octopus, I think, is like, it's a part of the theme Terrifying. on board. <laughs> I thought it was kind of cute. So they have all that, and the performers from some of the different shows, like the one we saw, they are like around the pool area and like get in the pool and like splash water everywhere. We were on top, so we did not get wet. But if you were down there, you could join them in the pool at some point, and people were kicking up water and dancing, and it's a whole party. And we're jeans. We don't even need that. If I was here with a bunch of girls, I would probably partake in said dancing and splashing around, but I knew this guy was like, no way. It's not my vibe. <laughs> no way. So I was like, it's fine. So we got some video, we watched it, and we were like, cool. And then after that, I believe we showed y'all some footage of the sparkly light room. That's the manor. It's where the after party of Scarlet Night is. We didn't even make it through the first part of Scarlet Night, let alone the after party. And On the fine. agenda, the totally after fine. party just says late. Like, it does. It's just like... Yes. So we're going to wrap up today. Um, I don't even know what day it is. I think it's Tuesday. We've got two more full days before we head out. Um, so a lot more relaxing to be had. Tomorrow is a sea day. We are going to get in bed. Chris has his bacon and hash browns here. I'm going to get out of the scarlet clothes and into some jammies and we're going to chill and go probably to sleep very soon. In case this is the last part of this first vlog or whatever it vlog it is thank y'all for watching make sure you subscribe we've got more coming out i'm alex i'm chris and this is the unwinding vlog we'll see y'all next time Bye.